This is the Google Chromebook Pixel from 10 years ago, but what can you do with it in 2023? When this laptop first arrived, I was really surprised with the build quality. It has a very nice hinge and you can even open it with one hand and it won't move around. And even though this laptop is 10 years old, it still looks like a pretty modern one, even though the bezels are pretty thick. It has a very nice and minimalistic design. I really like how it looks. It looks very flat and thin. You can see here on the side you have two normal USB ports, a mini display port, a headphone jack and the plug for the power. And you also have a micro SD card slot. When you look at most laptops that came out 10 years ago, they don't look as nice as this one. The keyboard also has nice backlight as you can see. And it also supports a touchscreen. However, the disappointing thing about this laptop is that it runs on Chrome OS and not on Windows or any other operating system, which means that it is very limited. The reason for this is because they stopped updating it. And that means that there aren't any updates even for the browser. So the browser is outdated. Most websites still work pretty good. However, some websites don't really work anymore, which is disappointing. For example, if I go to Microsoft Office, for example, as you can see right now on Microsoft PowerPoint, it says unsupported browser. And that's also the case with other apps. So that means that you can't even use Microsoft Office. However, what you can do is use Google Docs and that still works pretty great. And that's also for Google presentations. But you can also see here on the top that it already says that it doesn't support this browser anymore. You can still write some nice documents with this. However, I'm not sure if it will still work in the future because of the lack of updates. And you can't update Chrome anymore. So it's stuck on the 2018 version of Chrome. And also for synchronization, you can't even synchronize it with your other Chrome devices. You can still log in and it isn't a Windows machine. So you can't install any programs on here. It's only the Chrome Web Store. The Chrome Web Store only really has extensions for Google Chrome and not actually apps or programs. And there's also no Google Play Store support on the first generation of this model. However, even though this is running on a pretty old version of Chrome, the switching between tabs and working with this device still feels pretty fast. And it's still great for watching YouTube in my opinion. It's just really disappointing that this device is really limited by its software. There are ways that you can install Windows on it. However, it is definitely not easy to do that. And also everything might not work properly. And as you can see here on the keyboard, it also doesn't have a Windows key and only Ctrl Alt, no caps lock. What I also really like about this laptop is the screen. It is a touch screen, so you can scroll through websites with your finger. However, when you touch the screen, you can also see that the screen definitely wobbles a bit, which is kind of annoying. However, it does look very nice. It has nice colors. It's a 60 Hertz panel, but it still looks very nice. And it has a three by two aspect ratio. And the keyboard on this device is extremely nice. It is great for typing documents or making notes. However, like I said, it doesn't support Word, so you have to use Google Docs, which is also losing support soon, probably. It's not the fastest, but I think that's obvious for a laptop that's already 10 years old. But for a 10 year old laptop, I actually think it's still pretty decent. And it also has a pretty good trackpad. It's also very big. And because the software is so limiting because of the old Chrome OS, you can't install any games on here. So it isn't a gaming device. You can't even edit videos on here, except when you find a video editor for in the browser. It doesn't support all the websites anymore. So that means that some websites don't work at all. And you also can't install any programs on here. And it's a very limiting device because of the software. However, you can still watch some YouTube videos on it and you can still take some notes. The performance of this thing is actually okay. You can still open multiple tabs and do some things on it. But if this thing had Android app support, then it probably would have been a lot more useful. Is it still usable in 2023? Yes, but that doesn't mean that you should use it as your main device. And I wish more manufacturers would have laptops that have build quality that is this good. It's just disappointing that this laptop is so limited by the software. What do you think of the Chromebook Pixel? Let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching.